we over the last couple of weeks have been working hard as a church family to raise support for an effort that World Relief is right in the midst of right now, which is resettling Afghan refugees who are making their way to the U.S. in primarily the Triad area. So we're able to, this week, cut a check to World Relief and help cover the cost for one family. As you might imagine, people coming into the U.S. from a foreign context have a lot of different kinds of needs. There's the immediate needs of shelter, housing, furniture, food needs, all, all of that. But as time goes on, they need a lot of help with finding work here in the U.S. and maybe with English language learning. That money is going to both the immediate needs and the long-term needs that a family's gonna have. We are partnering with World Relief with this Afghan response, in part because we were already working on developing a relationship and a partnership with World Relief. I have been aware of World Relief for a long time, having been in the Christian NGO, Christian nonprofit world but recently had a friend tell me to check out World Relief in more detail and look at what they're doing because they really are doing some incredible work here in the States and around the world. I think it aligns really well with who we are striving to be as a church family at the heart. So World Relief seeks to come alongside the local church to serve the most vulnerable and we as a local church are wanting to come alongside the most vulnerable as well. They want to be really holistic in the way that they're doing this. They want to pay attention to physical needs, yes, but to spiritual needs as well, mental health needs. They're willing to be in whatever situation for the long haul so that they can get after some of the root cause issues that exist within a community. And we've talked about that a lot as a church family. We can be involved with them both locally and globally. The local thing, we're resettling these refugees in the Triad area just off the mountain for us. But at the same time, this need exists because of the global reality of our world. And so it's, it's kind of the, the middle ground of both of those. But there's so many different opportunities that we can jump into with World Relief. And that gets me really excited for the future. I think the answer to what God is doing through World Relief and through any partnership that we would have with them is, is really multifaceted. I think on a, a really foundational level, it is what their motto says, which is coming alongside the most vulnerable. And we want to do that as a church family. We want to show up as the hands and feet of Christ in hard circumstances and broken circumstances. And that's what World Relief is doing. And we can learn from them in terms of how to do that really well. So one of the other pieces that feels really exciting to me when it comes to the potential in this partnership is the educational opportunities that World Relief provides as well. This is an ongoing learning kind of a thing. The way that we showed up in communities 10 years ago doesn't fit what's needed right now. And the church needs to lead the way in showing up in communities both locally and globally in ways that honor the dignity of people, honor the humanity of people, honor the complexity of people. And we haven't always done that in the best way. And so there's so much potential for kind of mutual learning from one another with us as a heart family and then World Relief and our specific partners. To me, one thing that I think God is doing in terms of shaping all of us into how we need to show up in communities right now. Um, I think that he really has given me and, and lots of others at the heart a real passion to show up with an intention of going deep in communities, not just an in and out kind of a thing, but a, a showing up, building relationship, building networks, and staying in communities, again, both locally and globally long-term, because the kind of transformative work that's needed for people to really be lifted out of poverty or really be lifted out of different broken places of different kinds, it, it, it's painstaking, it takes a long time. This is not months, it's years, and I think World Relief has models of how to do that well again both locally and globally and so I have no doubt that God's at work in that and that as we commit ourselves to that that he's going to bring about big kingdom work kingdom realities kingdom change in, in these communities yeah it is just an encouragement beyond what I can adequately express to see our church family jump into 
this very real area of need with these Afghan families. The financial component is just one piece of it and we're gonna get after other pieces of it for sure, but it is so necessary to support with our, our money, our finances, the, the, this money that we've worked hard for. When we show up with that and we offer it to a need like this, that, that really matters and it's been such a, an encouragement to me and to so many to see the church family respond in such a way. So I'm excited to talk to the church family about other ways to continue supporting these families and, and yeah, other ways that we can serve them. But it starts by offering the funds to get them here in the first place. And so thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has jumped in on that effort. It goes a long, long way.